Fala pessoal, sejam muito bem-vindos para mais uma vídeo aula de inglês aqui do canal. Eu sou o seu professor Saulo Casal da English101.com.br. Olha só, a gente vai fazer uma aula diferente hoje. Nós vamos praticar o nosso listening e até mesmo o nosso speaking assistindo uma conversa que eu tive com dois professores do Cambly, a professora Andy e a professora Jay, que gentilmente aceitaram o meu convite para falarmos, batermos um papo ali um pouquinho sobre um tema bastante atual, né, que é sobre a pandemia do novo coronavírus, né? Como não se fala sobre outra coisa hoje em dia, a não ser sobre o famoso COVID-19, não poderia ser diferente aqui, né? E o legal é que vamos falar com pessoas diretamente da fonte, ou seja, de Nova York, que é o novo epicentro da pandemia, né? É o epicentro do epicentro que é os Estados Unidos com mais de 138 mil casos, né? no caso aqui do estado de Nova York, 138 mil casos e quase 6 mil mortes, pessoal, dados de hoje, né? só no estado de Nova York sozinho já se tem mais casos que na Itália inteira, no país da Itália né? e possivelmente até passará da Espanha, que é o segundo país com mais casos no mundo inteiro. Bom, pessoal, essa conversa só foi possível porque existe um site que te dá a oportunidade para conversar com nativos do mundo inteiro, né? nativos uh, falantes da língua inglesa, que é a plataforma do Cambly, pessoal, que oferece aulas particulares para você treinar o seu inglês conversando diretamente com esses nativos. Lá você pode escolher o professor que quiser, baseando no tipo de aula que quer ter, baseando no seu nível, tá? até mesmo no sotaque do professor e na personalidade dele, pessoal. Olha que legal. E é claro também na disponibilidade desse professor. ok? Lá tem professores disponíveis a todo momento ou através também de agendamento. ok? E você pode até escolher professores que falam português, pessoal. Olha que bacana. E uma dica que eu deixo com vocês também é que mesmo nesses momentos né, conturbados aí com o Covid-19, o Cambly multiplicou seus esforços para levar cada vez mais conteúdo gratuito para quem quer aprender ou praticar inglês em todas as plataformas. São lives semanais, podcasts, e-books, posts e muito mais para você aproveitar esse momento para se diferenciar falando inglês, ok? E não esqueçam de acessar também o canal do Cambly Brasil no YouTube e se inscreverem lá para ter acesso também a muito conteúdo legal que eles estão disponibilizando para vocês, ok? E caso queiram também testar a plataforma e ter uma aula experimental totalmente gratuita com um dos professores lá, usem o cupom uh, que eu e o Cambly estamos dando para vocês, que é esse aqui, ó, Saulo Aula Grátis, tudo junto, Saulo Aula Grátis, e para as crianças, a aula experimental de 30 minutos custa só um real, pessoal. Um valor simbólico de um real apenas, ok? Então, basta acessar o site que está aqui na descrição desse vídeo e pronto. Lembrem, vocês não precisam ser fluentes para usar o Cambly, pessoal. E os professores estão lá para te ajudar, ok? Obviamente que eles não esperam que alguém chegue lá já falando tudo, sendo fluente, sendo um aluno avançado, ok? Então não perca tempo e aproveite esse cupom para você dar um pontapé inicial e destravar o seu inglês, tá? Então bora para a aula de hoje e vamos ver como foi essa conversa com a Andy e com a Jay. Vamos lá! All right, guys, so I'm here today with Angie, our friend Angie from New York City. Yeah. She's in the house. Uh, <laughs> I've been looking for, I've been hunting uh, for New Yorkers, for people that live in New York, because I do want to have a conversation about this whole new coronavirus, this COVID-19 that's been taking over the world. Uh, nobody talks about anything else except for, except for this coronavirus that's out there. So I wanted to see um, uh, what Angie has to say to us, like her point of view, her um, her reactions to this whole thing. So Angie, can you fill us in with some information about what's going on in New York? Yes. So I found Jay here. She's a teacher on Cambly and she's going to be helping us, giving us uh, a more uh, in-depth uh, information about what's going on in New York. So, Jay, how are you doing? Thanks I'm doing, for being here. I'm doing well in yourself. Thank you for having me. 
All right, thank you very much, Jay. So uh, you've been a teacher on Cambly for how long, Jay? For a year now. For a year now? Yes. That's awesome. Uh, have you been getting a lot of uh, Brazilian students or not really? I do, I do get a lot of Brazilian students as well as from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Great. Um, so, Jay, let me ask you, so how's everything over there? You live in uh, what I area live specifically? In, I in live in Brooklyn, New York, New York City. Brooklyn, in New York City. Cool. So at the moment, uh, New York has the most cases in the United States, which is a lot. Um, it's right. really scary because we don't know how to prevent, excuse me, prevent from getting it um, other than what they are telling us. And mm -hmm. it seems like there's maybe because there's a lot of people in New York or because we have a big subway system or right. we're not sure why, but we are the ones that have the most cases right now. And yeah, I've heard New York alone, just the state of New York has passed Italy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just the state. So. Yeah, so it's it's pretty scary to live in the place that has these numbers. Um, however, it's important to stay strong and to not let those things make you panic. There are a lot of people right. that are panicking. And right. the panic is making it worse. Yes. And, and how is this whole thing for you? Um, how are you taking this uh, pandemic, this coronavirus, COVID-19? It's, it's tough. Um, in the earliest stages of it, it was manageable, doable. Mm -hmm. Okay, life has to change a little bit, you know. Um, about three weeks ago, it took a dramatic turn. Uh, mm -hmm. schools were canceled, uh, work was stopped, construction was stopped, non-essential workers were not to report to work, um, a lot of remote learning for students and uh, teachers. So people are panicking, they're buying everything. They're buying toilet paper, I don't, don't, I don't know why <laughs> this is happening here, yeah. but this is happening. Toilet paper, yeah. uh, Purell, which is the hand sanitizer that you can wipe right. your hands with, the wipes to disinfect, the sprays to disinfect. Um, there's really, there's no alcohol for cleaning, you know, mm -hmm. there's no, um, no, not a lot of gloves. There's not many mm -hmm. masks. Um, even mm -hmm. people at the hospitals, the nurses, the doctors, the people that are essential workers that they have to work right people that are in the front line yeah even the they are running out of supplies and this is a problem um it's something that you know we it's it seems like it's out of control um we right. went from having maybe about mm, i would say a hundred less than 100 cases and it skyrocketed to about 10,000 cases. Um, wow. With just as many deaths, um, I believe we're currently up to about 900 deaths. Um, it, that's in, in just New just York City? New or? York City. Okay. Uh, the state wow. of New York, I have no clue. Um, it's it's mm -hmm. gotten so bad that I've actually just stopped watching the news. Right. Um, it's right. become a little cumbersome right. and overwhelming. So it, it's it's really it's a right. it's a dire straight situation, to be very honest. Um, thank God people are not looting and thank God yeah. people are not rioting. But I feel that it, it could possibly come to that if certain things and resources are not continued mm. or being put in place kept in place i should say yeah i mean and new york is this huge melting pot you know it's a big gateway where where you guys have many people from all over the world including this 
big population of Chinese people too. So mm -hmm. this uh, this was coming. We we could predict. You know, New York is the capital of the world. I mean, yeah, the amount of people that travel over. to here from here every day, usually, it's it's huge. We have so many people that come in and out of New York. That it, it, yes, we knew we would be getting it, of course, but yeah. we didn't know how quickly it would get to yeah. that number. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, and I mean, it, it, it's kind of also been hard to kind of control everyone, right? The governor is doing his best to put these things in place, but he can't control every single individual. Um, no. Uh, they just recently had to close the parks because people were still bringing their kids to the playground. Why? Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine like the beaches in, in, in Miami or, yes, you know, like people going different. to the beaches normally mm -hmm. as nothing is happening. Yes, yes. And I mean, this is, again, something that happens everywhere in every country. There's always people who don't oh, listen, yeah. but it's just so because we are the ones that have so many, mm -hmm. just, you think people would be like, whoa, 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 you know, just a little bit, but no. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, who wants to be in his shoes, the governor's shoes right now, you know, because oh. New York is the epicenter of the epicenter that United States has become you know, yes. uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago with uh, now it's about 380,000 cases. Yes. Almost 381 with a total of almost 12,000 deaths in the United States. Wow. Uh, Spain has passed Italy. Um, it's pretty crazy. I think Brazil is the number 15th there um, with uh, 581 deaths. Um, I mean, these numbers, every time you refresh the page, the numbers just go up yes. like crazy. Yes. I think one of so, the biggest issues, um, or not even issues, but attributes to our numbers on the rise is the fact that mm -hmm. uh, New York City has not shut down the transit system. Mm. However, so people in general are compliant to, are on the same page as far as staying home or no, like social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people, yes, they are, but there are some people that are not. Sure. And yeah. you'll find yeah. this in every country yeah. where, yeah, sure. you know, there's some, there'll be people who throw parties, you know, which why I don't know, but this happens where people don't like to be told they cannot do something. Right, right, right. And so they yeah. do it anyway, and then they get sick. So right. the idea is that we social distance so we don't get sick, so that we don't put more pressure on, on, on an already full, overcrowded, not ready to handle system, which is the healthcare system. Right, so, right. That's the issue right now, but yeah. And speaking just, of, yeah, yeah, healthcare and stuff. Is there a uh, like a program to help like people in need, people that don't have any money right now to even like buy food? Um, so we, any, there like, are, sort of yeah, there are governmental assistant programs. The issue though is that there's so many people trying to get them right now that. Mm -hmm the system can't handle this many people trying to call or be on the website at the same time. And okay. because we're so densely populated, there's no way for people to practice social distancing. Um, a lot of our parks and recreational areas were still open. People were not adhering mm -hmm. to the, the rules. And I mm -hmm. do believe, I firmly believe that these types of activities and this type of um, non-essential worker usage of our mass transit system is mm -hmm. the biggest attribute to our numbers on the steady rise. So I went to the grocery store today and um, people are not, I don't know if they don't understand what six feet is or... <laughs> If they just don't care, but they're not staying six feet apart. Mm -hmm. um, it is, however, very difficult and very different to see people walking around with masks on their face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
that's not something I'm used to seeing. Right. Um, yeah. So that was kind of when it's, you know, th- when you see a lot of people doing it, it really keeps you in reality of what is happening. Yeah. But I mean, we got to do what we got to do. I mean, we have to leave the house too. Sometimes we're in quarantine, but we do have to get out there sometimes and right. to buy food, right. you know, and survive. And But how is this, how is the supermarket situation? Um, there? To be very in honest, York? I have not been out in about two weeks. Um, I've been able mm-hmm. to listen to what people have been saying. <laughs> and um, I made mm-hmm. sure that my children and myself had enough supply of food and water um, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. as well as cleaning products and disinfectant. Um, we do go right. out. I do take my children out just to get some fresh air, uh, just to stretch. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're young. I have a three-year-old and a nine-year-old. Yeah. So to oh, nice. keep them cooped up in the house, honestly, it's not ideal. <laughs> but um, we do, yeah, we yeah. do cover. I do cover their their nose and their mouth. Um, we do our best to practice social distancing. I don't take them to the park. I take them like in front of my building. They can ride their bikes for a few minutes. We could take a walk around the neighborhood, and we come right back in. Um, mm-hmm. I, I spray the mm-hmm. bottom of their shoes. We leave them at the door. Um, right. Lysol, right. hand sanitizer, soap and water. Wash our faces immediately. And um, just mm-hmm. do our best to practice the precautions that they've put in place. Um, a lot of people are wearing gloves, but then they touch their phones or their faces. So yeah. that. It's so That's easy to, to catch the, 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 the virus. I mean, uh, if you yeah. walk in a place where the virus is, the molecules or whatever, mm-hmm. if you step on it and then you go home, who's going to change the shoes? Like, we, we don't do – it's not so easy. Like, we don't, we're not going to wash shoes every time. I mean, we may right. take off the clothes to take a shower and stuff like that. Maybe we can wipe yeah. the shoes and the sneakers a little bit with alcohol. But who does that? I mean, it, it's easy. Like I said, if you hug somebody, if you touch something, if you touch like the the bag where you're gonna put the fruits in or you're, something like that, mm-hmm. it's gonna be yep. It's been really so gonna... yeah. It's been really difficult trying to to be on top of everything. You really have to think about all the details. You know. Yeah. My mother and my grandmother are both high risk, and they have been really careful about everything because they both. My grandmother has diabetes. And my mother has asthma. So, Mm. you know, these are things that they have already said. If you have these things, it is worse for you. Yeah. So be extra careful about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's really, it's really difficult. Um, Now, at some point, you're going to know someone who knows someone who died. Yeah. You know, or you're going to know someone who died. Like, it's getting to that point where it's getting closer to home. Um. And that makes it even more scary. Um, nursing mm-hmm. homes with elderly patients and people with compromised um, immunities um, were locked mm-hmm. down, shut down. I have not been able to see my oh. 93-year-old grandmother going on a, m- oh, no. a month now. Um, oh, but thank God for technology. We FaceTime. Right. Um, so she's good, thank God, out of harm's way. And um, I, I'm a teacher here in New York City, and mm-hmm. I've had about four of my 28 students directly affected by the coronavirus within the last week. Oh, wow. Yes, they have lost. It all happening within a three-week a three week span. or so time Yes, time. yes. Yeah. Um, but we just really have to focus on what we can control. You can control distancing yourself from people you can control um you know not trying to not touch your face and and not get sick and washing your hands and just these are the things that we can control so these are the things we have to try and do Mm -hmm. so that Mm -hmm. we you know can stay in the game for longer and and keep fighting (laughs) right i went to the supermarket the other day and i just realized 
how many times I touch my face and how hard it is to avoid it. Seriously, yeah. I didn't know that I was so used to touching my beard or my nose or something like that. You know, yeah. like just I was like, oh my god, I ugh, just for just for this <laughs> exactly. one hour, I can't exactly. do it, and it's so easy for you to do that. Yes, you and know, then you don't. It, if you think about how many things you touch and how many things you touch again, you know what I mean? You touch this to pick it up from the shelf and then you touch your phone. And then after you touch your phone, you touch your car. And after you touch your car, you touch your face. So it's like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> All day long touching yeah, things. Yeah. That is so yeah. really, you know, it's just, it's just really scary to know yeah. that this is happening and, and gloves wouldn't even help at that point because gloves are pretty much like your hands so if you don't yeah. dispose those gloves if you just use it all day long i mean it's not yeah it's not exactly and some people they don't put these two things together they just kind of forget and they just think i have yeah. gloves well i'm safe but no <laughs> yeah you really have to like either take them off in between things or yeah you know yeah. it's it's yeah it's it's right. very dangerous this pandemic is covering yeah. everything, white, black, male, female, child, old, right. young, uh, rich, poor. It, it, it's hitting everyone. Right. So New York at the moment has people that are volunteering. And right now, people, including myself, we're making nice. masks for people. Um, nice. I can show you actually. I have it here. A sewing machine. What? Yep. So you know this is what use I'm that? using. Yeah, I mm. I used this before everything happened. And so I thought I would bring it back out so that I could help as much as I can. My you know. religious services are being on live stream now. So I sit in front of my computer on Sunday morning mm -hmm. and I worship with my pastor. <laughs> you can still do the same thing. Right. You can sing, you can pray, you can, you know, watch the, the sermon and, you know, but uh, it's temporary too. Yes. You know, we just have to uh, be on the same page. Hopefully, you know, we can gather, um, get together again soon, hopefully, uh, because we, it, it's nice to have the, the contact, you know, it's nice to be there, but hey, Right now, it's maybe not right, the time. Right, and, and for that. to protect our uh, best interests, and that's to live. I'd rather do a temporary mm -hmm, stay away mm -hmm. any day. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad that I'm Me. able to help at you know some way somehow. That's and awesome. Yeah, a lot of people can too, and that I think yeah, I mean, also helps the the situation. Right. My, my wife's um, brother-in-law who makes signs for businesses for a living, he started making masks as well. Wow, you know, nice. Plastic masks and yeah, stuff like that. And yeah. he's giving away a few to hospitals and stuff. So like something that he never thought he would make before. Yeah, exactly. He's in there making masks, you know, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Just like you making masks yeah. uh, out never of thought... fabric. Or... Yeah, yeah, never thought I would do that. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So we have people doing this. We have people making meals for those that cannot go mm -hmm. to the grocery store, you know, older population, um, just anyone that is able to help, they're helping. So that's good. Right. There are a lot of True. moving parts. Um, True. Even though I, I work for the school system. Yeah. Our nurses yeah, are idea. the ones at the open schools. Mm -hmm that are there, volunteers that are watching the essential workers providing childcare from seven to, I think it's seven to six in the evening that they're providing childcare for in school buildings, keeping these children safe, keeping them mentally stable too, because there, there are a lot of things going on inside of people's homes. For every affected person, there's a family attached to that person. <laughs> so, you know, those are things that we also yeah. kind of overlook. Right. Mental, the mental state, the stability of people, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. So really, it's just about people trying to help each other. You know, you, you yeah. tell your neighbor, you call someone, you, 
you know, you check in with your people and you right. see if they're okay. Um, you know, people like that I'm working with that said, we, these people need masks. Can we make them? Does anyone have a sewing uh, machine and machine. other people yeah. that are like, yes, I have one. I can make them. And then other people that are saying, well, I don't have a sewing machine, but I have fabric here. So everyone's coming together to try and make something happen, which nice. to me so is, people are yeah. trying to reach out to each other. Exactly. Right. There are people trying to help each other out. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing That's about cool. New York is we actually have um, this happening where we had a ship come in to New York to help us with the amount of people that are sick. Oh, that's um, beautiful. It's, it's something that I've never seen. I've never, right. I don't remember ever hearing about something like this happening where we have the Navy come and bring a ship for this specific issue. Um, right. Another thing too, is that Central Park, a very famous park in New York City, oh, is being geez, turned God. into a, a hospital. Right. Yeah. Central so, Park. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just so bizarre. And, it's and, just, and I've also heard today that actually some parks are turning to like cemeteries, man. Oh, I can't yeah. confirm this. I have not seen. I've seen some yeah. things because people are sharing a lot of things, um, especially in other countries where right. there's not enough space for all the people that yeah. are dying. Yeah, to bury so, all these people or, or it, even. Yeah, geez, it was bound to like, happen at some point. If if so many people are dying at the same time, but it's yeah. just, it's so hard to wrap your head around it to really grasp the, the situation sometimes. it You can't yeah. believe it. You really cannot. Well, honestly, I think that also has a big contribution to why our numbers are rising, because a lot of people feel that they have to go to work mm -hmm. to survive, to provide, <laughs> um, though New York does have a lot of initiatives in place. Um, some schools are still mm -hmm. open, giving three school, square meals a day to children and their families. No questions asked, um, nice. no no ID, no anything nice. like that. Just say, I'm here for food. They will give it to you. Breakfast, lunch, and a snack. Um, and it's, it's healthy. Mm -hmm. And even like um, yeah. delivery people, Uber Eats, DoorDash, uh, these, these mm -hmm. people are being considered essential workers. Um, because they are, they're, they're keeping yeah. the elderly who are not able to get out of their homes. They're homebound. How are these people going to eat? A, a lot of people, a lot of people, elderly yeah. people don't have family. Yeah. A lot of special needs people. There are a lot of special needs people in our, in our society mm -hmm. that kind of go under, under the radar because they don't have family who care enough to help them or are even capable of helping them. You know, so yeah. um, a lot True. of these resources are still being True. kept open and functioning. We, we got to give these people a lot of props. Uh, people that are at the front line risking their lives, you know, pharmacies do. Uh, we got to give them a lot of respect and a lot of recognition, you know, for yes. everything they do during uh, this difficult time. I mean, it's not easy. They also have their own families, kids at home, young kids and stuff. Um, yeah, I've heard the government uh, is paying factories to repurpose the, the factory, you know, uh, to yeah. produce and make masks, gloves, respiratory uh, machines, ventilators, anything that they weren't, they weren't used to make before. Now they're making because now exactly. it's, it's, um, it's time. It's, that's how, that's how uh, much of a bad situation it is that we, we need those places to actually help by making masks if they can. And he's, the governor is paying them to do this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Governor Cuomo, instead of saying, uh, we're not going to work, he said, we're going to work, meaning that he would call and offer jobs to artists uh, job, that are jobless right now, you know, for this yeah. time being, 
costume designers that are not currently working to come and yeah. help with anything, you know, like to build beds, to put things together, to organize rooms, mm -hmm. et cetera, you know, anything. So yeah. he's sort of like giving you guys a sense of hope, you know, like and showing to you guys that he's actually watching, you know, he cares. Yeah. And, and thinking of how to help. Right. Yeah. Even for the small businesses, because that's another thing. The small businesses are closing. A lot of people that mm -hmm. didn't have that emergency savings, uh, you know, in place, they are losing a lot of money, yeah. losing their businesses, losing their employees and stuff. So it's my a situation. My job and my husband's job actually closed and they uh -huh. they fired basically everyone. Um, so there's a lot of problems with the way that this happened and mm -hmm. the way that we are able to get funds now or pay for bills or yeah. things like that. There's a lot of issues happening. Um, I'm mm -hmm. glad that I have Cambly. You know, um, there is still child care providers available for essential workers um, because that's another big thing nice. is having child care. Um, I have the benefit of being able to stay home with yeah. my children because I am too home. You know, mm -hmm. I also have the added benefit mm -hmm. that I do have savings. And quite honestly, I still get a paycheck, <laughs> you know, um, so. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you, you can also work from home and on camera right. being an online teacher, right. so, which so, is a beautiful thing. I do have Stay those home. utilization of resources. Um, I am able to afford internet and Wi-Fi and computer for me to be able to do these mm -hmm. things. A lot of families are not. Um, so it's it's another, mm -hmm. again, it's another mm -hmm. obstacle and another difficulty that people have to understand. Um, during this time, we realized that cable and technology is not a luxury it's a necessity no one yeah no one expected it to be this bad right this yeah. crazy yeah and um i mean i've heard the private sector took actually the initiative before the government did you know like and that really actually shows um the world like that you guys take health very seriously i mean uh, sometimes some countries actually even with the command from above from the government they say no we're not going to close like we need to pay this we need to you know we need to yeah. survive somehow. yeah, but it's, yeah it's... once once we're given these orders i think for the most part at least businesses and things like that they do a good job of following that order um nice in this country at least i must say i it's how just taking care of that Cuomo has been handling the situation my hat goes off to him. Um, mm -hmm. I can't say the same for Mayor de Blasio. Mm -hmm. And I cannot say the same for President Trump. Um, mm -hmm. I, I will say I feel mm -hmm. out of all of the, the, out of the three, Cuomo has handled the situation by far in the best possible situations that can be. Um, he's giving... Right. He's not only giving us the numbers, but he's giving us solutions of how to combat the the ever line the underlining problems that are presented to New Yorkers. You know, um, especially with us mm -hmm. being the epicenter of this whole pandemic right here in the states now. Cool. I think President Trump has a, a misconception of how the government and the economic system should stay afloat and Cuomo is giving an alternative of how it can stay afloat and how the economy doesn't have to tank and we don't have to have thousands and trillions and billions of layoffs once we do make it through you know this pandemic this global pandemic that we're facing because mm -hmm. we have the both sides people that are uh arguing and questioning the, the economic crisis that will probably eventually occur yeah. and you know whereas on the other side you have people that are like okay we have to stay isolated because uh okay i don't have money but i have my life you know right. exactly have, you have to kind you of know. you know 
hold, put compare know how to the balance those things. things. Yeah, and kind of make a decision as to like what's more important to you, you know. Um, right. So at the moment, I mean, I can understand both sides. I mean, there's not there's not a right or wrong, I guess, uh, yeah. option or answer. Yeah. It depends on your reality. Yeah. You know, if you, if you need food on your table for your kids, I mean, you have to get out there somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and I on mean, the other some, hand, some people have no choice uh, too because of their yeah. jobs. Their jo some jobs, some yeah. companies are not being understanding at all. Um, mm -hmm. I've heard mm -hmm. of people, their jobs not letting them wear masks, their jobs not letting them take time off if they are sick, their jobs letting people come into work while they are sick, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, things like this. It, it's been happening. And yeah. this is also why people, more and more people are getting infected. So I like you, like you uh, mm -hmm. alluded to, you see, it's a double-edged sword. You, you, you want to shut down a city, but you can't shut down mm -hmm. a city. It's it's really a, a juggling game. And I think Cuomo, honestly, is doing a very good job at it. Yeah. I mean, we just, uh, we have to wait and see because it's a new thing to all of us. Uh, I mean, we've had this before. I mean, we had SARS, MERS, Ebola, yeah, yeah. Black Death, Great Plague and all of that. Yeah. But it's it's all new. I mean, it, it comes and goes, and hopefully this is going to fade away. It's going to go away soon, yeah. hopefully, because nobody knows exactly what to do. And like you said, there's a lot of people panicking, getting yeah. depressed, you know, at home. So it's it's turning to this huge snowball yeah. of yeah, problems. So Yeah. To anyone out there, I just say, you know, you hang in there, stay strong, watch a lot of Netflix. <laughs> watch a right, lot of you know, do what you can to learn something new maybe you know like english you know practice your english yeah read some books <laughs> yes you know, do do things, things to keep it fresh to keep it you know to keep your, right. your spirits high so uh, jay i just have to thank you very much for your time for, for your patience angie thank you very 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 much thank for you participating. anytime I had a lot of fun, nice conversation. Thanks for all your input on New York's uh, situation. Yes. I appreciate it. No problem. And I hopefully we'll speak soon. Everyone stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. The same to you. Stay safe. Uh, God bless. Bom, então é isso, pessoal. Eu vou ficando por aqui. Agora que você já teve uma ideia de como funciona o Cambly, não deixe de usar o cupom Saulo Aula Grátis, Saulo Aula Grátis, e aproveitar essa oportunidade para treinar e praticar o seu inglês. E o nosso abraço de hoje vai para Rayane Carvalho, para Raíssa AA e para Maria GR. Tá? São os perfis aqui do, do YouTube, né? Rayane Carvalho, Raíssa AA e Maria GR. Pessoal, espero que vocês tenham gostado da aula, espero também de coração que todos estejam bem, lavando as mãos e cuidando do vovô e da vovó e, claro, das pessoas do grupo de risco, né? Se você curtiu essa aula, dê um soco no like pra mim, compartilhe com os amigos e se inscreva no canal, beleza? Um abraço, fiquem com Deus, stay strong, stay safe and until next time.